This free shooter game is amazing. This one is rivaling Battlefield. This game is a huge player base. These two are absolute classics. This one is Call of Duty but better, and this one takes the genre to the next level. Have you just downloaded Steam and simply want the best free to play FPS games? Well, you're in the right place. The Steam store has thousands of games, in particular first person shooters, but I've compiled a list of all the free ones that are worth playing. This is Undercover Dudes, and these are the top 35 free to play FPS games. Let's get straight into it. Starting out, let's talk about the part arena shooter, part blocky building game called Sector's Edge, a game that has fast paced combat running through its veins. The idea is relatively simple. You're thrown into a completely destructible blocky battlefield and you need to build structures to gain cover and outsmart your opponents. It's very reminiscent of Ace of Spades. Sector's Edge combines this with extremely smooth and fast gameplay, quick building and spot on gun mechanics to really bring the whole thing together. Next is Enlisted, the squad base massively multiplayer shooter game whose aim is to reconstruct World War II battles. Enlisted is a game that combines infantry, ground vehicles and aircraft fighting together on the same World War II themed maps, which is pretty cool. You control either a squad of four to seven soldiers of various classes or a tank crew or an aircraft pilot, and you can also give orders to AI soldiers in your squad as you control soldier directly. The gameplay feels fantastic, the graphics are awesome, it's one of the best war themed shooters out there. Next up today is The Cycle Frontier, the free to play rival to escape from Tarkov. In this game you need to get in, capture resources, complete contracts and extract before the planet destroys itself. However, like Tarkov, there is so much intensity as you need to bring in your own weapons and gear that you will lose if you die. It just works fantastically, the gameplay is easy to pick up but has its tense moments, the graphics are awesome and the cherry on top is that they're quite easy to run. Next today is Gundam Evolution, a new free to play first person shooter based in the Gundam universe. In this game, you take control of mobile suits straight from the anime and battle enemies in 6 vs 6 matches. Heavily inspired by hero shooters such as Overwatch, Gundam Evolution features units across the Gundam universe, all having different abilities, support functions, HP levels and so on. While previously many regions were locked out from this game, it's now been expanded as the content seasons have dropped, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Next is Splitgate, a first person shooter game known for its unique blend of classic Halo style gameplay along with iconic portal mechanics. In this you engage in fast paced battles across futuristic arenas while utilizing portals to outmaneuver and take down your enemies, giving a totally new angle to the genre. Now Splitgate offers a range of modes including deathmatch, capture the flag and more and with its impressive graphics and great mechanics it's a shame this game isn't being played more. Unturned is a free to play multiplayer survival game developed by one person and despite that it's hugely popular. This game is is set in a post-apocalyptic world filled with zombies and other players who are trying to survive. You scavenge for resources, build bases and craft weapons to defend against the zombie horde. The game features different modes including survival, creative and arena and has a large modding community. Add on its accessibility, low system requirements, engaging gameplay and it's obvious why it's quite popular. Next up we have Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, the extremely weird and wacky battle royale game that's focused on comedic gameplay, hilarious in-game voice chat and tongue in cheek humour. This is all on top of the fun graphics, cute characters and extremely weird weapons and it shows why this game is a fun time. Despite this the gameplay is easy to get into and quite solid, perfect for a first experience into the battle royale genre. Next up is Warface, an overall really solid first person shooter. Now Warface is your standard type of arcade shooter. It features PvP, PvE and Battle Royale, it's got co-op modes and it has a variety of classes, weapon customization and so on. The gameplay is pretty solid, it features the weight of movement seen in games like Battlefield with overall great gunplay. This is all backed up with very low system requirements, only needing the Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM and the GeForce 8600 GT. So yeah, anybody can try this game. Angerfoot is probably the wildest FPS game we're checking out today, a Hotline Miami inspired shooter that is always chaotic and frenzied. Gameplay wise it's pretty simple, you clear room after room of enemies by kicking, shooting or exploding anything that you can see. Furthermore, the bright and colourful maps along with the detailed enemies and weapons work perfectly with the thumping, bassy music in the ears that just makes you want to run through the course as quickly as possible. The next game is called Frontlines, a first person shooter heavily inspired by Call of Duty 4 with its back to basics gameplay. 
The gunplay is snappy, the movement is super fast paced, especially because of the sliding, and it's just a great combination that makes me fall back in love with the arcade shooter genre. Now the crazy thing though is that this is all completely a Roblox based game. No blocky characters, no childish quirks, this is all shooter in the best way possible and it's absolutely perfect to hop in and play. One of my favourite games as a kid was Quake 3 Arena and now we have the modern version in Quake Champions. This game revolves around a hero shooter concept with characters having unique abilities and attributes but the gameplay is still extremely skill based with controlled movement, pinpoint accuracy and spot on map knowledge be monumental to your success. This in combination with a variety of modes, upgraded graphics and low system specs means Quake Champions is a super rewarding game to play. Next is Banana Shooter, a fun focused game that is super inspired by Carlson and Danny Dev. Banana Shooter definitely puts the priority on the shooting mechanics. The guns feel fantastic and blasting through your enemies is super fun. The graphics are very much Carson-like, but that's not really a bad thing. It's simple and gets the job done. Combined with the simple but intuitive maps along with the easy to run graphics and we found an absolute gem on the Steam store. Hired Ops is a first person shooter that might seem familiar. The reason being is that it's the spiritual successor to the popular browser FPS game called Contract Wars. Made by the same people that did escape from Tarkov, Hired Ops features Tarkov-like gameplay in the Call of Duty-like package. This game's biggest draw is for sure the gunplay. Each weapon is detailed, unique and feels amazing and then paired out with the hard Hardcore gameplay and Hired Ops is definitely a fun experience. Next is a game from Fresh and Laser Beam called World Boss, where you take on 15 other plays in fast paced arena combat, very much inspired by Fortnite. It's easy to pick up and play with its simple shooter gameplay, but there are upgradable weapons and perks for a bit of extra depth. While it's not the most complex nor the best shooter out there, World Boss very much fills that casual FPS void, which is a really good thing. Next today is a game called Operation Harsh Doorstop, a Patreon funded free to play first person tactical shooter headed by YouTuber BlueDrake42. I featured this game a few times this year and for good reason. It has solid gameplay and decent graphics, but more importantly, it's going head to head against Battlefield and other AAA titles by truly listening to the community. The gameplay itself is bolstered by detailed maps, a variety of scenarios and an in-depth modding platform, bringing something really unique and truly different to the genre. My favourite games as a kid were Doom, Quake, Wolf 3D, Duke Nukem and so on. So when I found Hellbound Survival Mode on Steam, I was very happy to see that a game like this actually exists. The concept is simple, you fight against hordes of enemies on a small island until you die, with the main emphasis being on the adrenaline rushing combat. The movement and gun mechanics are very much in line with the games of old and it holds up really well, you just shoot down hordes of enemies and have a ton of fun. A game that I absolutely have to mention is Krunker, one of my personal favourite first person shooters, really of all time. Krunker is focused on fast paced action, featuring movement that's even faster than Quake. This with the back to basics gunplay is a great combination with the emphasis really being on raw aim and skill. The graphics are quite blocky but they look really good and best of all they're super easy to run given it can be played not only on Steam but also in the browser and that's really the cherry on top. The core idea of Super People is batter out through and through, hop in with your squad, kill some enemies and be the last team standing, and the actual game mechanics like moving and shooting feel exactly like PUBG. However, where Super People differs is with the addition of classes, each with unique abilities and perks, and it brings a sense of progression and variety not seen by that juggernaut. Add on the decently sized maps and great game pacing and it's a really solid offering overall. Ah yes, next is Planetside 2, a unique gem in the crown of free to play FPS games, being one of the few MMO FPS games that has a large and active player base. The focus of this game is on huge battles over a massive planet, with you choosing one of the three factions and vying for control, with up to 2000 players on the map at one time, which is insane. Pick one of the many infantry classes, spawn an ATV, tank, dropship and more, and then squad up with up to 48 players in a platoon. It's all out chaos. A game that I played a lot in the past is Black Squad, a free to play shooter developed and published by NS Studio. Featuring a unique blend of tactical and arcadey gameplay, Black Squad feels like CSGO but at a much faster pace. This makes it really good not only for round based modes but also team deathmatch and so on. You choose from a variety of weapons, hop in casually or via ranked and overall it's a pretty decent experience. 
No doubt one of the best hero shooters out right now is Paladins, probably second to Overwatch 2. Developed by High Res Studios and launched in 2016, year after year Paladins has shown that it's one of the best free to play games out there with its extremely diverse range of heroes, addictive gameplay and great visuals. It also has a lot of depth with its card and loadout system, which allows you to transform the heroes into something completely different, which means heroes don't have set roles, a distinction that makes this game really worth playing. Next up is one of the most popular looter shooter RPG MMO FPS games out right now and that's Destiny 2. Comparing this game to everything else on this list, the high production value shines through, not only in the intense and feature filled gameplay but also the beautiful graphics. This makes sense given previously it was a paid game, and this quality holds up even today. While there has been some bumpy moments with DLC launches, the base game is still super solid and is up there with Warframe and the such. A game that arguably deserves a spot on this list is Call of Duty Warzone 2. The follow up to one of the most popular battle royale games of all time, Warzone 2 takes things to the next level. In the tried and true formula, Activision took Modern Warfare 2, put a battle royale spin on it and released it for free. This normally gets a great response from the community, but the mostly negative review rating is fueled by hackers, crashes and so on, so be warned, but overall the gameplay and graphics still make this quite an appetizing game to play. The next game needs no introduction, and that's Team Fortress 2. With 9 unique classes, various modes, addicting gameplay and a whimsical art style, there is no doubt why this is one of the best first person shooters of all time. Furthermore, its accessibility and easy to run graphics makes it incredibly easy to hop in and play, a true favourite for low spec fans. While the game has been out since 2007 and hasn't received many major updates lately, it's still super active and worth playing and it just shows why it's one of the best games on this list. One of the most popular games of all time is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, the quintessential battle royale title. With the classic formula on show, hop in, pick up some guns, take out your enemies and become the winner, creativity isn't high on the priority list, but the execution means it really makes up for it. Yes, the gunplay and movement is a little dated, but it's still really solid and perfect for anyone to hop in and try, and best of yet, it's now free to play. Coming up next is World War 3, the multiplayer first person shooter rivaling Battlefield and Call of Duty. Taking a page from other large scale shooters, in World War 3 you team up in 20v20 battles either on foot or in tanks or other vehicles using a large variety of weapons to your advantage. It has really solid gameplay and great graphics with a very Battlefield like user interface and on top of the 20v20 mode there's also classic team deathmatch and these can be played on a variety of maps such as the streets of Warsaw, Berlin, Moscow and so on. Despite its rocky launch, it's a really good game and it's one of those kind of Battlefield-like titles that are free and well worth checking out. Next is an MMO FPS called Starcraft, a game which has its roots in the survival genre that combines an open world, RPG element and dynamic shooting into a package that many people have been waiting for. Originally a Minecraft fan modification, Starcraft has progressed over the last 7 years into a standalone stalker-like title. Featuring PvP and PvE gameplay, storylines, quests and voice cutscenes, Starcraft is an incredibly detailed and unique game. No doubt one of the most popular free to play games out right now is Apex Legends, the Titanfall inspired shooter developed by Respawn Entertainment. Rising along Fortnite is one of the premier battle royale titles, Apex has insanely tight gameplay, amazing graphics, a dedicated community and tons of content. This alongside the fan monetization scheme shows why Apex is a must try game, especially if you're new to Steam. A game that I'm hugely excited for is The Finals, a fully destructible FPS made by former DICE developers. This game has gotten a huge amount of attention lately and for good reason. The gunplay is tight, the movement is fast paced and the destruction is absolutely incredible, doing something truly different in the FPS scene. Currently it's in a closed beta phase and we're unsure when it will be fully released but I already know it's going to be incredible. This next one goes without saying, it's Riot Games' premier shooter and it's called Valorant. Taking the round based nature popularized by Counter Strike, Riot has taken it to the next level with the addition of agents, characters with unique abilities that dramatically changes the match. This in addition to an insanely spot on gunplay and movement along with a super easy to run but also beautiful graphics and it makes sense why so many people play this game. 
Shadowline is next for today, an arena FPS featuring multiple PvP modes along with a roguelike co-op mode called Expedition. It bears resemblance to Apex, Call of Duty, Overwatch etc while still rooting itself as a classic arcadey first person shooter which is awesome to see. The Ukrainian based developers are awesome and are pumping out heaps of content for a full release sometime in March, super underrated game. Next up today my friends is Overwatch 2, the huge update slash re-release of 2016's Overwatch. With updated graphics, new modes, new maps, UI updates, tons of heroes and much more, Overwatch 2 is a really good game. Despite this, Overwatch 2 didn't deliver on its PvE promise at launch and we're still waiting. However, it's supposed to be coming very soon and that would really round out the Overwatch 2 experience. One of my favourites on this list is Iron Sight, a fast paced shooter that is heavily influenced by Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Featuring Twitch gameplay, in depth customization, and years of developed content, Iron Sight captures the old school gameplay in the best way possible. Despite being screwed over by their last publisher, the Iron Sight team has published this game independently and they've redeemed themselves in the best way. Make sure to go and check this one out. While this one is definitely not a first person shooter, it's no doubt one of the best free to play games on Steam and it's called Warframe. This is a game I've put hundreds of hours into. It's a movement based, story focused, hugely customizable and hugely addicting action title that rightly has a very positive rating on Steam. If you've just downloaded Steam or just got a new PC, this is an absolute must play. This next one goes without saying, it's the most popular and the best first person shooter of all time and it's called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Featuring addictive gameplay, insanely well thought out maps, a host of content and community servers galore, CSGO is the pinnacle of the genre. This is all without considering the upcoming Counter-Strike 2, the upgrade that brings the graphics, physics and gameplay to the next level, a must play game for sure. 